January 12, 2017, Thursday of the first week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The Holy Spirit says, Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts, as at the rebellion in the day of testing in the desert, where your ancestors tested and tried me, and saw my works for forty years. Because of this, I was provoked with that generation, and I said, They have always been of erring heart, and they do not know my ways. As I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take care, brothers and sisters, that none of you may have an evil and unfaithful heart, so as to forsake the living God. Encourage yourselves daily while it is still today, so that none of you may grow hardened by the deceit of sin. We have become partners of Christ, if only we hold the beginning of the reality firm until the end. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm The response is, If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Forty years I was wearied of that generation. I said, This people's heart goes astray. They do not know my ways. Therefore I swore in my anger, They shall never enter my rest. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. A leper came to him, and kneeling down, begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper, and said to him, I do will it, be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. January 12th, Thursday of the first week in Ordinary Time. The first reading comes from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 3, verses 7 to 14. In this passage, we see two of the tendencies of the author of this letter. The first is to quote the Old Testament quite a bit. And the reason for that is that the author is trying to address a Jewish Christian audience, which has practiced their Jewish ways a little too much. And he's trying to say that Jesus has replaced these Jewish ways. That yes, God spoke through Israel in the past, But that was just a foreshadowing. Now the fullness has arrived and we have to live in that fullness. And then the second thing he does is he speaks about how we have to live in that fullness. That it's not just theory, but it must be practiced in a moral lifestyle, which is lived every day. So we are partners with Christ. We have to hold on till the end. Throughout the letter to the Hebrews, we see extensive quotes from the Old Testament. We also see an alternation between theory and then practice. And this is a pattern you see in the, throughout this entire letter, although we probably should not call the letter to the Hebrews a letter. It's much more a treatise than a letter. The Gospel is from Mark 1, 40-45. We heard in the previous verses how Jesus performed many miracles, and now we hear about one of those miracles. A leper is healed by Jesus. Now remember, leprosy was a dreaded disease. People have had to isolate themselves from society. And what does Jesus do? He stretches out his hand and touches the leper. By that, he's making himself unclean, according to the Jewish theory. 
but rather he cleanses the leper and makes him clean. He tells him to go and show himself to the priest, so he's fulfilling all the prescriptions of the law. Well, this becomes known throughout the region, and it's impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. Now, the problem is, is that people will be coming to him for the wrong reason. They see him as a problem solver. He'll help them win the lottery. He'll make sure their biopsy is good, etc. Whereas Jesus has come to speak to respond to the deepest hurts of our heart, the hurts that are caused by our selfishness, our loneliness, our alienation from God and from others. And may God bless us.